While you were busy establishing a colony, Hercules was headed for Troy, where he whisked Hesione, princess of Troy, out of the jaws of Poseidon's gruesome... Oh, Troy. We'll be looking at that later. Hesione managed to find herself in this scrape? Her father, King Laomedon, refused to keep his promise to pay Apollo and Poseidon for building the walls of Troy. So the gods punished Troy with plagues and floods, and the only way for Laomedon to save his city was to sacrifice his daughter. Now Poseidon and Apollo are enraged that Hercules has meddled in their affairs, and they are well aware of your connection to this hero. And the Kraken, whose taste buds were primed for a bite of human, is very hungry. Elsewhere in the world, the centaurs, who are always on the lookout for a new source of wine, have taken notice of you and your kingdom. Trouble might not be far off. Well, welcome, welcome everybody back to Let's Play Zeus, Master of Olympus. Still haven't edited. <laughs> I think I'm just going to barrel through a bunch of episodes here, not editing. I also just had a massive lunch, so I'm feeling really sluggish. But hey, we'll see whether that has an impact on the uh, the gameplay here. Probably will. Um, so yeah, welcome. We're back to Tyrion's. Uh, on the previous part, we did a colony uh, at Lerner, who's right on our front door. Lerner is kind of a, this great place where they produce these this amazing olives. You guys should see the olives, the size of apples they produce. And uh, we're turning that into oil, exporting it in. Uh, the only problem there was uh, they have lots of fish as well, by the way, even though they don't sell or produce fish, fish. And the idea was a lake that was guarded by Hydra. Anyway, yeah, the only problem was that there was a Hydra. We dealt with the Hydra. Well, Hercules dealt with a Hydra. And now we're back to Tyrion's, Hercules' uh, main associated city. Which, by the way, I looked up a bit of info on Wiki. Here, I've just alt-tabbed and edited. Every time I alt-tab, the game music disappears. How weird is that? At least while we're on the map screen. So, Wiki says that it, the nice notable features of this place, which I think now is just like an archaeological dig site, by the way. Nowadays, there's... Like, it's a mythological place, and what did once exist, like, we, we really only speculate about, I think, anyway. One of the towns we were out that was true. Uh, it says it's most notable... That's good enough, right? Uh, it's most notable features were its palace, its cyclopean tunnels. Not really sure what it means by that. Obviously, you can't tunnel in this game. There's no going underground or anything. But especially its walls, which give the city its Homeric epithet. So I'm guessing it's in Homer's Odyssey somewhere, but of mighty walled Tyrions. So that's how it's described. Tyrions became associated with the myth surrounding Hercules, or Heracles as they called him, and the city was a residence of the hero during his labours. Some sources cite it as his birthplace too. We don't really know. But this idea, mighty walled Tyrions, I'm thinking. Now actually, so the previous adventure we did was the Voyages of Jason, right? But before that, I was just first teaching you about walls. And I thought we were going into the Hercules adventure. I wanted to do the Mighty Walls. So I think I'm going to do it. Uh, now, what does Mighty Walls mean? I think we need at least two. And maybe they'll be thick. So I don't know how we'll do it. But I think we'll have a wall across here. And maybe it'll be three deep. With like a couple of gatehouses in. And then we'll have another one. And we'll do a couple. But I think, I think putting the walls up will be one of the last things we do. A bit like it at Yolkas, just because it it will allow us the freedom to make a housing block however we want. Speaking of housing blocks, right, we're back. I love how it looks on the minimap, by the way, the diamond. It's so cool. Okay, so we've got our courtyards. I don't really think there's anything I could do. I could break half of the courtyard and turn it into avenue or boulevard. Oh, and we do have avenue now. Now, if we do that, then the maintenance... No, and the maintenance man will be able to get to stuff. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, we, we're going to avenue these pieces, right here and here. We could avenue, so avenues are more appeal than park. So we will avenue these pieces, here and here, here and here. And this lower bit, we can in theory avenue as well. Should we do something really weird? Should we do it like that? Is that actually going to work? Oh, we could do it like so. And then like so. All right, well, whatever. We'll do it that way. So I think he can still walk around. I think he'll still be fine. And hopefully these guys in the middle start to evolve. So this is a very cool design, but I, I think we do have appeal issues for sure. Now, the outer road as well. Since we have Avenue now, I think I'm going to make the ring road Avenue. So we'll do some Avenue. In fact, let's just, because we're on pause. The script. Now, we, can keep, uh, we can't even keep the outer parks in a lot of these positions, I'm afraid. So that's fine. Well, let's. Oh, why did I do? Why did I delete the whole path? Well, I deleted the path because what I really want is I want the avenue 
to be the bit that's up against the housing block. So the whole this is quite tricky to be honest. The whole thing needs to be pushed out. It's like oh, oh god guys, this is this is not easy. But with all the corners, how would we even do it? Something like if this doesn't work on this side, I won't try it on the other, I promise. So it'd be something like that. This bit's easy at the very least. This bit I'm confident in. So we just avenue along there. And then, oh no, 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 not like that. Can we undo that? Please tell me we can undo it. We can, and brilliant, you don't even have to play it forwards. It's got to be like this, and then like this, and like this. I mean, just ooh, right? Oh, God. And then he goes up there like that. Oh, look, we get a statue in a corner. I don't even know whether that road works anymore. We might have broken it. But we'll have some park. So the thing is as well, like mo monuments, we, we probably want monuments for some of this stuff. So they need culture. So we're missing culture up there, which is a shame. Podium guy should get out, he should go around, he should get to that corner and then do the full loop. He might not be able to make the full loop because he's too far away. And maybe the gym guys, they're slightly too far away. So here, what we'll do is we will kill the watch post that walks further, right? Like, we know these details now. The watch post will go further, so... The gym... And by the way, this is basically what I've been planning to do. We've got cleanup duty to do here. The gym can go there, they'll spawn there, and they'll move along. So they're gonna arrive a little bit closer. The uh, tax man, I think, is secondary to the culture as well. So that he can go there now. And as for tack, what I'd really like to do now is roadblock both of those so that they both go out nice and quick. So that's what I'm going to do. Taxes? Will these guys live tax-free? That is the question. Okay, I'll tell you what. See, some of these people might need water as well. I think we're going to need another water fountain. I think, I think we have instability because water is infrequent here. So let's see. Let's go see water. Like, these guys on the inside aren't getting it for some reason. It's because the water carrier, I think, is getting here, and then she's turning back, and she's getting here, and she's turning back, and she's just missing this. We could swap... Ah, now, here's, here's a way we could fix that. We could swap her position with this house. Because then... Then maybe she gets just that little bit further over, and then she shifts all the way. And then we have the water stability. The water looks really good everywhere else, doesn't it? Yeah, and these two back here as well. Isn't that funny, guys? This house and this house, they're essentially... It's the same mechanism that's ruining them both. So should we try and shift the water fountain, or should we just get... I'm going to try and shift the water fountain, because really the fantasy here is to have as many houses as possible. So let's put the water fountain there. Also, because I think I believe there might be appeal issues there, nonetheless. So if there's a water fountain there, we have to wait for whoever's standing there to leave. Hopefully, when they choose to go right, they'll get enough around that then they're, they're beyond the south point and they go all the way around. So let's hope. Let's hope that that works. Aside from that, I do think we're pretty goddamn stable. So this is a pretty good housing block here. Right, let's see. What were our objectives here? I'm doing a thing now where I read the quest dialogue initially at the end of the previous episode and... Um, and so I'm kind of forgetting what's going on. Right, protect the city from the Kraken. Oh yeah, Poseidon's mad at us, isn't he? Poseidon and Apollo are enraged that Hercules has meddled in their affairs. Oh dear. Impressions in their little guide thing, they say, So it turns out being friends with Hercules is more trouble than it's worth at the moment. <laughs> I just read it in like the nerdiest way. I love it though. Okay, a sanctuary to any god is needed. Now, the Kraken we beat before... And the hero, I think, is Perseus. We haven't seen much of Perseus. Perseus wants two sanctuaries. Oh, he wants both of these. He wants Hermes Refuge and he wants the Arbor of Athena. He wants them both. So, Athena. So, Athena would be olives. In fact, she'll, she'll give us some. So, we could put Athena... God, I love this town. This place is cool. We could put her near the other farms. I'm Hermes. Worship me, and some of your citizens will taste my speed. Okay, some of our citizens. Where did you spawn, Hermes? Was it at the palace? I feel like they all, they're always spawning at the palace. The palace is over here. 
Yeah, okay. I don't know about that whole high appeal thing, because they certainly seem to care more about the palace than anything else, if you ask me. Uh, but Hermes is the easier of the two, so if we're going to build those, we need marble and we need statues. Let's see what we can do. We can, Im we can import the statues, we can import the bronze. Can we cook up our own bronze? Let's see. Ah, we can. So we can pay 640 per sculpture, or we can pay a sixth of that price for a bit of bronze and just cook it ourselves. I would rather do that. Uh, what else can we export? We can sell marble. That's bizarre because we don't have marble. I guess if we pick the other colony, we would have marble right now. So, and if we pick the other colony, we'd be under attack. <laughs> oh, and by the way, so it's Amazons that attack, right? We've seen their troops. You guys know all this stuff about centaurs? Did you know? Oh, well, you don't know because I haven't told you. There's actually a distinct appearance for the centaurs, I think. Um, there's an amazing Steam guide that shows like all extra information I'll start putting into the series. And uh, and they have a little icon for the centaur armies there, which is really cool. Uh, can't trade anything else, really. So, so we just have to keep selling fleece. And uh, fleece is going to grow here. Uh, I believe throughout this chapter, a bunch more people are going to start trading us fleece. fleece, fleece and we, we're just going to blow up our fleece industry. It's going to be pretty goddamn cool. So, uh, we want to import marble. Oh, wait. It only says it's available for export right now. So we just have to wait for time to move, for Greece to develop a little bit more, I think. What's all of your problems? Oh, culture. Yeah, right, we had culture issues on one half, we had water on the other half, and that's it. Oh, he, he needs appeal. So our colony monument can fix the appeal over here somewhere. So I'm thinking... Oh, but the road's gonna break. I don't want to break the ring road. The road is so cool, you know? Oh, do you know what would be amazing is if we could do it there, like a bridge, and then we could break the road. There's a lot of unrest. Okay, wait, why are you guys restless? Finances are down, unrest is severe, unemployment is at 22%, that's why. Okay, I've got to pause this. I've got to figure out what I'm doing here. Granary is full with food, so they eat well. And I, here I am trying to figure out to evolve all these guys. Do we have elite housing yet? No. Well, more fleece, I think. I think since the whole theme here is we are fleece, fleece, fleece. Let's do a whole other bay of carding sheds. Um, ready to sell it. I guess we can put some sculpture studios down as well, but it does, there's like no ramp up to these things, so there's no real necessity to do that. So, carding, carding, gap, carding, carding, carding. Just because that matches what we did. Gap. Okay, that's odd. Oh, I guess because the maintenance guy's in the way. Right, so let's have like a free-flowing thing going on here, right? Loads of card and sheds. Uh, how many jobs exactly am I expected to fill? 141. That's not that bad. Um, One maintenance guy for all of that, though? That's a bit nuts. So let's give them another one. Oh, well, mind you, they got that guy there. Well, for now, let's give them another one there. At this crossroads, which I think will be even more. There's a lot of unrest. I know, I know, I know. Look, I'll pay you even more. Look, I'm giving you jobs. There you go. 56 unemployed. How's our money? Oh, God. We're, we've Our finances are really bad. Oh, my God. Yeah, because we started on negative money because of how we left Lerner. Oh, dear. Well, look, Eleusius, you're sympathetic. Apathetic. I don't know whether we're going to debt anniversary or what here. Someone else buy my fleece. Look how much fleece I've got to sell. Yeah, go on, you buy this. Buy as much as you can, please. There you go. Money. Is the unrest? Unrest is still severe. Oh, but we've made it too big, too quick. Oh dear. All right. Well, whatever. Okay. So sculpture studios. Um, right. Well, where do we want like an industrial sector to be? We got fleecing to the south. Let's have uh, sculpting. Um, along this beach, maybe? That would be quite interesting. On that island would be... <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if you set up, like, a tiny little thing here and an off-roading system, and you realise they just raft across on their own? Wouldn't that be amazing? The, these guys don't seem to want to move very much. That's all going to be walls. And, I, I'm pretty dead set on uh, elite housing to the north. Um... 
All right, screw it. This will be industry then. Okay, so and we, we're just going to get started with a couple of things. So a sculpture studio takes 18 people. So if we put twen if we put two down, which has been enough for our purposes so far, plus a maintenance office, that will soak up the last of the unemployment issues. There you go. 15 people unemployed. You're going to tell me we have severe unrest over 15 unemployed people? Come on, you're fine. I like the idea that when you have a weird city like this, this is where unrest comes from, because people see their neighbours are struggling. Oh look, someone moved out. Oh no, no, there's thugs. What are you? What's wrong? If you're going to make me look like a rat and not pay me, I'll find some nice, rich-looking person to mug. Hold on, but oh, is it? I'm paying you normal wages, but I'm in debt, I guess. Ugh. So the watch post. All right, well, we're going to put a watch post down since nobody lives there anyway anymore. Look at this. What a story this is. A dying city. People move out, so you move it with guard. Replace them with guards. Isn't that sad? Well, there we go. So they can start dealing with some of these criminals while we resolve the, the unrest. I guess I should beg for, for money. They're sympathetic on the, uh, uh, at the end of the day. So please... Okay, Mount Pelion blossomed as well. There you go, Mount Pelion appeared. But they don't have anything for us. Um, Nemia, you are my rival. You're not going to give me anything. Lerner, I know you have cash. Please. Please, Lerner, we're in it together. Cash for fleece. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 you want fleece as well, don't you? You buy fleece. I will give you fleece. You're, they're loyal already, actually, so no, I'm not going to do that. Just help me out here. Help me out. i got to pay my people so that they don't all move out. That's it. Kill him. If you're going to make me move like a rat, then not pay me. This city is like Ajax. Oh, I like how some people are still happy. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. Unrest is still severe. Mount Malia blossoms. I've never heard of Mount Malia. Oh, great. Potatoes. Under the leadership of Lucos, Mount Malia has grown into a significant city. No longer isolated from the rest of the world. Mount Malia. Here. He's down here. Aha. So he will buy our wheat, which we don't have any. He will buy wine, which we don't have any. Do you know how sure I was that he was going to sell our... He was going to buy my fleece. That's unbelievable. Well, people will sell us bronze. So should we buy a little bit of... No, we've got to get out of debt. One thing at a time. Come on, that's it. Take him out. Take him out. Nice. Okay, good. The criminals are thinking twice. These people are evolving. Finances are down, but we're getting more and more money. I'm going to speed this up a bit. There you go. Thank you, Mount... Oh, my God, Mount Malia. Wow, look, these guys came out of nowhere. And apparently they think highly of us. Thank you. And they're helping us out. Oh, my God. And Lerner gave us 500 as well. Okay, there you go. Look, I can pay you. The unrest is high, not severe anymore. That's good. So, people are getting their wages. Can I lower the wage rate slightly? Now, let's check our expenses, shall we? Let's check our expenses. Uh, last year, that's under administration. Last year, we spent... Import, yeah, we, we're not importing anything anymore, that's true. Oh, yeah, because we produce our own fleece. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, we will give them olive oil eventually, but we don't necessarily need to. Construction was 1,000. Wages were 1,300. Okay, so... Um, we are earning 2k plus look we uh, we cover our expenses purely in tax we're fine we just need to relax a little bit thank you sign for granting the jack no. okay look there you go oh my god look at this teamwork oh learner is giving me olive oil but i need to actually start accepting it okay get olive oil 16 didn't i set these up i thought i did like that's down at 16. Well, we missed our first shipment of olive oil from our colony. That's a shame. But we can deal uh, as time goes forward. Okay, good. So, new residents are arriving. People like us well enough. Good. So, 400 more people are coming. We really need more trade partners to export this fleece, please. Oh, careful. They're going to be trying to explode that with fleece, but I actually want that for olive oil right now. Come on, keep trading, keep trading. We need more people. Um, and then, okay, we got enough money, so we can buy a little bit of bronze now, all right? A little bit. We're going to buy enough bronze for 
what is it, two sculptures to get the thing of Hermes done? Well, we'll buy four bronze, okay? Let's watch the ship come on in here. Ollie, want a Kraken? You've got one now. Okay, there we go, the Kraken. Now, last time I read this like a, a parrot. I'm not going to do it this time. I'm going to read it like Poseidon. I hope you enjoy watching him destroy your industries that defend my ocean. Wait, some some of your industries that defend my... Oh, depend upon my ocean. Of course, that's a P. My desire to get you in your way knows no bounds. Okay, here we go. So, Perseus, here you go. A Perseus, just uh, like I already said, he, he wants the two things. And the rest of it's pretty easy, I think. I can't remember. Where are we? Middle of the ocean. So, Perseus, I'm trying to find more interesting places. Wouldn't it be cool to have him out on an island? Is there any other island... Because he'd sail to his home. He doesn't need maintenance or any of that stuff. Oh, imagine if we could put him on the beach. Ah, oh, all right. Well, you can live near. All right, you can live in the, the closest thing. I, the best thing I can do that's not um, water itself is the ocean. Okay, so he wants 16 skins of fleece done. Holy crap, we have 160. He wants three grand in the bank. That's easy as well. He just wants a bit of spare sculpture and then, yeah, the two sanctuaries. So, basically, this whole mission is do two sanctuaries. The rest of it will all get solved all at once with the Perseus quest. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. 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 What do I do? What do I do? I, I do not want that to get destroyed. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, okay. Storehouse. Get. Now, the fleece doesn't matter. I guess this doesn't matter that much, but the bronze really matters. So, please don't destroy anything else. Just grab that bronze. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get the bronze. I oh! Am Athena. Worship me, and a sacred grove will grace your city. They're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. Oh, oh, did you see? The car guy spawned right at the end. All right, look. Impressions know that we're trying to meta game the trading spot. And look, we all, we all know now, actually, that it doesn't even really matter that much because you can only trade a certain amount every year anyway. So unless they're going to put their numbers up to some absurd amount, it really doesn't matter. So we will put a new pier. There would be such a good spot. Uh, trading post to... Who was that? Sign? Yeah, Sign was buying our fleece. So, appear to Sign. So, I'm going to go. Could go there and there, but, I mean, I don't want it to be near the Kraken. I don't want any risk of, the, of Kraken attack. You could put it all the way over here. And create a new road. And we'll call it the new road. That happens very often in real life. Oh, and it can go across the beach. Oh, look at that. Necessity is the mother of invention, guys. We've now utilized the beach. And look, and now there's an old road. The old road. Nobody uses this road anymore, see? Oh, isn't it beautiful? Now, as far as urchin, we're not collecting any urchins over on this coast. So we're okay. Who knows what the Kraken will do? Will it attack this? <gasps> wait, wait, what are you doing? Oh. Uh, Oh my god! Oh, I thought he was going to break down the water crossing. Please don't go to the pier. It's all the way over there now. No! Oh, we need to actually assign. Sell the fleece. Buy the bronze. The boats don't have to go that much further. Um, I don't want to create a bunch of really ugly intersections of the roads. They're going to go a bit around, but that's fine. This is unbelievable! He's trying to snipe our thing! This is crazy! Oh my god, look, the pier didn't even need a maintenance post, because that guy's patrolling there. Wow. Oh my god, he came from all the way up there. This is nuts. Uh, no, okay, hold on, though. Hold on. I'm not being funny. Oh. Oh, okay, he's coming here. Oh, maybe we're just going to have to replace it or something? Oh, do you know what? What if there's a thing where you put a bunch of them up here, and then your trading post down here... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Right, now I just want to verify, right? We can sell fleece to Syme, but probably other people are buying it, so let's check, right? 
There is a trading post to Lerner, Eleusis, Mount Pelion, and Mount Malia. Mount Pelion doesn't have info yet. Mount Malia is selling bronze. So we can get bronze over land if we like. Lerner will sell us olive oil and a bit of wine. But I don't know whether I want to engage in that just yet. But they will buy our fleece. So let's do that. So trading post. So we have this idea of a trade road up at the top. I think that's really cool. Um, my god, I'm getting my uh, colonies confused here because the other one we had it. But the thing is, uh, I I'm wondering about the eventual walls as well, where we want to put them. I think that this is okay though. So you... Oh, wow, they got a trip, haven't they? Well, they're just going to have to go for it. So you sell that. Now, these parks... Let's get rid of these trees here. Not compromise on the parks. Let's get the road up like so. Right. So that has connected our trading post by a long road to the fleece. And to speed up travel, I will have a storehouse getting fleece now remember though here's the thing we'll actually have two once these bays are filled up we have to manually swap them back to accept because they're not actually going to sell from them until they're just on accept but that's just to get us started because we want the money and we could also so that would be where we get olive oil from so this pier is still okay, and it's selling, and we're getting a little bit of bronze. Now the bronze needs to be taken up to the sculpture studios. So let's give them their own thing. With a bronze getter. Here, of course, this can be off-road. The getters will just run out and go grab it, and then fill it up. And over here, this will be the other side, where uh, we're okay with that. But of course, there is no bronze at the pier just yet. Alright, this seems like a good time to save here, so let's do so. Um, imports beginning. Right, now let's speed our way through. 2,000 people living here. Population milestone. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Alright, wait. No, we can't. Alright, I'm not going to save scum it. I will leave it there. I will leave it. I was going to reload. The temptation to reload was so high there. That's unreal. All right, we're doing. We're, we're trading via land for a while. That's that's all it. That's all it is. Okay, so a trading post to Eleusis can be up here. What do you guys do? You will buy our marble. You will not really do anything. So I'm going to save the employment for now. I am Athena. Uh, Mount Pelion. Oh, and then Mount Pelion and Mount Melia. They don't do anything. Well, no, we do need... We've got to be selling this stuff. All right, where can I put a pier that the Kraken won't mess it up? What if it's hidden, like, all the way up here? Let's do it. Let's hide a pier all the way up here. Oh, God, this is going to be so far from the boats. I don't know. The thing is, I think the Kraken is going to keep hanging around in the waters near here because of our urchin gathering. I don't want to have to do this whole episode terrified of the Kraken. Or getting mad at the Kraken. But that's so much stuff that he destroys. Look, where is he now? Look, he's roaming off that way. So surely we're safe for a bit. What if we put it like up past all of these? So like it's it's like a they're, they're like the booby prize, you know? They're the they're the little thing they'll go for. Let's try that. Okay, appear to Sime. Sime, I'm trying to trade with you. Uh, please buy my fleece. We're gonna be in debt if 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 we can't sell that fleece. Oh my god! And they got a real trip now. Ready? Actually, oh god, yeah. I don't know. There's nothing for it. They just gotta run the fleece across the entire goddamn map. That's what they gotta do. These bays are getting it pretty quick though. They already got eight. A helping hand from Mount Pelion. Thank you, Mount Pelion. The mountain men are helping massively. Um, 
Oh, it didn't break. Yeah, it was the cracking that broke it. It wasn't because of a uh, maintenance post. Speaking of which, these two need one. They're going to break if I don't immediately add that there. This is so unbelievably inefficient. There you go. Get rid of that. And he can fix it all at once. Okay. Whew. Please don't break. All right, no, we're okay. By the time they're done. Even if he patrols the wrong way first. Look, everybody's evolved. They're stable. Except they don't have water still. Hmm. Water issues with our design, it seems. Water, water, everywhere. And no appeal. Neither. Alright, well, we can fix some appeal. With a monument here. Now, we don't have to compromise. We can. So, he needs that bit, that square. The road is going to come out here. The monument goes there. The road comes around the back. Like that. There you go. It's appealing there now. Nice. So that guy is missing a little bit of culture. I'm not sure how he could be missing a bit of culture. Look at this gym guy. Go on, get around there. Oh, the gym man doesn't quite make it. Our culture guys aren't making it. We're slightly too big. I think um, the diamond design that I saw online, the guy said this is a very fussy design. And he had something really weird going on with roadblocks up near the infirmary that I don't understand, so I'm not doing it. Look, they've ran... They've lost water again. Okay, water shortages are just the worst. Let's give them some water here. Who knows how many times this has been happening. But look at look at all the industry we lose. So there you go. There's two, two sort of diagonal water fountains there. And with that, they'll cover it. Um, we could also move the podium, by the way. If we're in the business of destroying houses, we could do that. A fire. Uh, okay. Well. Yeah, because this guy looks like he's close, this this maintenance house. But he's not actually, because he goes up that road. So we'll give him a new one down there near the beach. I want to watch a, a traveller on the... Oh, but of course they're not doing it. People think I'm the cat's meow. Well, they seem to like us, even though we're doing a terrible job. All right, let's speed it up. Tribute paid of olive oil. Thank you. I'm not evolving our guys yet. It just... It would not be worth it. Okay, there you go. There's some bronze. That's more than enough bronze for now. We've got the sculptures. Now, who is going to give us the marble for these sanctuaries? Oh, there you go. Marble available for import now. Oh, Mount Pelion now has details. Mount Pelion buys fleece. Good. Mount Pelion is active. There's another fire. <gasps> There's a fire in the housing block. Go, sir. Wait, I don't see anyone with any water. Go with the water. I can hear the crack and smashing something. Oh, please don't be the pier. Okay, the pier is okay. All right, well, we'll just put, we're just <laughs> just going to assume that they could deal with that fire. Right, up here. Um, Mount Pelion. Go. This isn't really... We're, we're sort of building a new trade road here, aren't we? So, let's undo that, actually. Let's do Mount Pelion's trading there. And we can connect them like this. With a road blocker. And the maintenance guy will hit it all. Now, you, buy my fleece. Now, these bays are pretty good. So, I'm going to start selling from that one. Not empty. Just, just accept fleece there. Look at all these guys coming. Woohoo, they're bringing them in. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, you can... But now that you're just on accept, you can uh, you can start selling. There you go, that's it. Yeah, there we go. And now these men on the land routes can be uh, satisfied. So, Mount Malia... Are you... Did I just read Mount Malia's active as well now? Yeah. But they don't buy things we care for. That's a shame. We could just get bronze from them. We could shut down that other pier. And I hope not to. But we could do that. Come on, put the fleece on the bay. There we go. He's bringing four. He's shifting it over there. I guess we're filling up this platform first. So maybe this is a, a, a justification for only selling a certain amount of fleece on each one. Because you want them. You really you want both bays to be selling straight away. That road does count as connected, right? I mean, come on. Surely it does. 
So there you go. So that's now we swap. Now we say accept and we say get there. I don't know. That seems like something of a plan. There we go. He's moving. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. I see what I'm doing here. I'm just shifting them from one bank to the other. No, well, we don't want to do that. Just get rid of it all. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was talking about that like that was some amazing plan, like it worked perfectly, but no. I am Athena. All right, look at this trade guy. And a sacred grove there you go. He grabs it. Back and forth, back and forth. I'm beginning to feel like Sisyphus. Wait, you say you buy fleece? I have fleece for you. No, look at all the fleece that I'm selling. This is kind of cool. It's like our shop front, isn't it? All right, let's go check out that smashing. Oh, a gift of marble. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, a gift of marble. Plus the sculptures that we made. I think we can we can make, build Hermes straight away. Oh, how much did they give me? Eight. No, they gave me 16. All right, Hermes. Hermes has got to live up here with these guys. I know we already sort of did it. But I also want Hermes to be in the city. So... I mean, no, let's put him down and we'll just let the city evolve around whatever we do, you know. So, mythology, Hermes Refuge. There you go. Hermes, you can live here. No, Hermes, you live up here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Hermes, you live there. The Artisans Guild will be here. And instead of doing on-site stuff, well, there's a few unemployed people. Nah, screw it. We'll just, we'll just let the ox go across the sea for that. That's fine. All right, good. Now we're double selling. Aha. Excellent. So, yeah, Hermes will be here. I'll probably move this trade post over there as well. Look at this guy zooming along here. Mount Pelion needs wine. Hello, Potatoes. I, Chiron, need wine. In 12 months you need wine. I don't have any money to buy the wine to give to you, which is what I would be doing. So I think he's going to be mad at us, but we'll pay him off with fleece. Because Mount Pelion buy fleece, right? Yeah. So they're sympathetic right now. So if we immediately give them some fleece, then that will make them hopefully a bit happy. Then when we lose the opinion, we can give them more. And hopefully, you know, they won't come marching at us or whatever. I don't know. So there we go. So, uh, they're grateful for the fleece. Thank you. Are you still just sympathetic or are you a little bit better than that? No, you're still just sympathetic. I'm going to hope there's some kind of value deep down in there that's doing something. Tribute of olive oil. We're still just slowly receiving that. So, yeah, they want their culture. I'm going to have to podium it up, guys. Oh but the houses well look here's what I vow to you guys I will not do it on this half this half will be as dense as I can possibly make it therefore the other podium it's going to have to be like here it's going to have to be as close as possible I mean we could get rid of them well no but they don't have the appeal they're looking for a monument or something from for appeal so let's not do that so let's do a uh, podium Oh, wait, wait, wait. We don't have a stadium in, in town yet. No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll use stadium to get them up. Okay, so the stadium is going to feed the gym. So, ooh, hoo, hoo. If we put the stadium up here, then they're going to walk around and they're going to tag it anyway. Th this road will also apply to the inside, but not these guys right in here. <laughs> these guys are screwed. But, well, no, not totally, because the global buff of the stadium. Okay, so we're going to have a stadium. The stadium is going to live. Why is this road out so much? Oh, because uh, we didn't want to mess with the north point of the infirmary, but that's fine. So we'll move this along. So the stadium's going to go... in one I think and then we will have an oh and then we'll have an avenued road surrounding it there you go so stadium kill that for now and that 
Surround the whole thing with road. Pull the avenue. Oh, we're out of money, but we can do this. And uh, I do need to replace that maintenance post. So in a second, we should make a sale. And get enough money to build maintenance before the whole thing comes crashing down. Come on, guys. Yeah, in you get. All right, there we go. We only needed a couple of drachma. So you can kind of operate within this 300 drachma era of debt. There you go. Right, so, and then this road is needed. Because the pier is up there. So off those guys go. Alright, and we're still killing ball. I like this little forest here. It'd be really cool to build, like, a housing block around this forest. <gasps> oh, that's my new favourite thing. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, there's our first debt anniversary. Yeah, alright. Don't, just don't go to the very north. There, yeah, bugger off. We can rebuild some of these, actually. Um, hold on as well, look. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's a boat, never mind. I, I saw that boat sailing up, moving super fast, and I seriously thought it was the Kraken, with the Kraken AI aiming for that. There you go, urgent quay, I urgent quay. I mean, hell, we can put one there as well, since we have support for it now. We could put one there, also. And a road up the side, remove this guy like this, like this, this is all pretty chill isn't it, it's pretty cool, there we go, that's not needed, that's good, we don't need a roadblock, probably, okay, why don't I have a house, there, there should be a house there, I think it's because we messed up this, Oh my god, like, look at this. Let's just do it this way and then put the avenue on the other side. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter which... Maybe, you know, my eyes tell me that the side the avenue's on matters. But maybe that is actually irrelevant. We can put some benches down there near the stadium. These, like, extra benches to, for which we can view the games, okay? Imagine that they're really high up. Or they're outside and pointed at TV screens from the inside. Which sounds ridiculous, but you know, like I see these videos and things, I've never gone to one myself, but like someone will go to a concert and they're so far back up on the stands that they're basically just watching a TV and they're, you know, like a giant projection of the show regardless. And it's like, what's the point in going to see it live at that point? I guess just for the, the vibe and sort of to say, oh, I did this thing, but still, you know. Okay, and then here we will do our monument technique again. So the that, that guy needs a road. He already has a road. They're devolving in the meantime. Don't worry, guys. So there's going to be our colony monument. I bet Atlas is pleased to hold the sky up for this city. It's superb. With the parks out of credit. But then we'll connect that road around like so. Oh my god, I think I'm about to lose, actually. we got to get out of debt. Hold on, how many debt anniversaries have we been in? We have to get out of debt. Let me see our expenses. The wage rate is low. 38 unemployed. It's actually not bad. I am taxing everyone, right? I didn't get rid of that tax office and never replace... It? Administration. See taxes. I don't tax anyone anymore. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't even have the credit to replace that. That's going to explain some of our missing money. And especially if the dot, the pier has been removed. Okay, so we get a bit of cash. We put the tax officer down. And then we stop building. I know it's a game about building, but we stop building. We need on-site storage for these guys, clearly. Well, these can be it now. So you get the marble. You get the sculpture. We're not still buying bronze, right? We, we don't need any more bronze, seriously. Okay, good. And in fact, let me just check here. We're exporting. We're doing nothing but exports. Okay, good. Money? Ooh. Oh, no, 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 they're going off-road. Perfect. Awesome. They Whoa, are they going to go all the way through the marsh? Whoa, look at that. Of course, they can walk through marsh. You just can't build in it. Oh, my God, that boar one. Yeah, I was going to say, these boars. What if we surround a housing district by boars? This is pretty cool. Look, this is sort of working here. Money woes. Popularity is dwindled to low levels. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Don't move out. You can keep moving in. 
Uh, I, w I just need the money to put a tax office down. Oh, Lerner. Lerner is loyal. Please, you got to give me some money so I can start to... This is like the worst thing, honestly. I can't believe that. Like, we looked at that balance sheet and how reliant we were on that. Mount Pelly needs the wine. A gift of wood. Oh, yeah, you need the wood for the sanctuary as well. So, get wood, too. Okay, thank you for that gift. It seems you get a lot of gifts for those kinds of challenges. Oh my god, we're at minus 2,000. I think we've just failed. I think I needed to look at my money a little bit better. I don't I don't know how we can get ahead of this now. Employees needed. Yeah, of course. Because I bet people are moving out. No? Oh, they give us the drachma. Thank you. But I'm, oh, <laughs> I was so in debt, even with a gift of drachma. Tribute paid, okay. We sell the olive oil to someone? They've bought all the fleece that they're going to buy this year. Really, all of you guys have. These guys just don't appear to be getting it anytime quick. There is a road through. There is a road all the way to our fleecing base. All right, uh, there's nothing for this. I've got to speed up. Okay, okay, okay. There you go, there you go. We got the money instantly. All right, remove this. Tax office. And now all I can do, people go unpaid and curse us loudly. All I can do now is fast forward and hope that this works out. Ready? Food here, yummy. Mmm, he likes the food. Okay, your workers are clamoring for their wages, and if you don't get out of debt soon, you can find yourself very unpopular indeed. I know we're we're gonna speed through now and hopefully get the money. Inability to pay wages met with jeers. I get it. Money woes cause discontent. I get it. They need wine. It doesn't matter. My dearest, worship me. We're nearly up. There are stirrings of unrest. <gasps> no, don't move out. No, no, no. I think it's reasonable to expect to be paid for one's services, but you seem to like to spend your money on other things. I know. Goodbye. I built. I built on a stadium. I'm sorry. There we go. We have money now. I think as soon as I started taxing people, they were like, "That's it. I'm out." But you know what, guys? You were all hoarding it. There you go. Look, look, look. So now a new generation of people who are less upset with me will move in. And we'll be okay. All right, there we have it. So, oh, whoa! You have angered me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Apollo invades, and he's he called me a bungler. Festering bungler, you have angered me. Soon, that which provides salve to your minds and bodies will waste away. While under my curse, your culture and hygiene facilities will no longer provide benefit to your citizens. Crap! Is that why we're all moving out now? Oh my god. Oh my god. We're having an employment collapse. Oh dear. Maybe we shift industry to fix this. Where is he? He's here. I wonder if he'll attack us or destroy any buildings or anything. Athena is visiting somewhere. Wasn't she just visiting? Will you do battle? Mount Pelly and Athena. Yeah, they're doing battle. Look at that. No more succor for the mind or the body shall be offered to the natives of this land. Take him out, Athena. I think she's quite high in the right. There you go. Athena overwhelms Apollo. So he's leaving now. No more Thank you, Athena. All right. No, 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 no. Oh, my land. God. Oh, my God. Will this stabilize? We have money. I don't know if they're ever going to figure out. Well, it's just a culture issue. Come on. Come on. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's prioritize culture. Get them back into work. There you go. That's it. And now we will put it back to moderate. There you go. My dearest, worship me. So people will move in. Your soldiers find I hope. There's strength. no unrest. We have money. Our houses are evolved. <laughs> um, why are you guys still super low level? You still want water. You live right next to a fountain. Oh, look at this. Bad spot for a fountain. The fountain carrier is going in uh, in the interior, in theory. Well, I don't know. I don't actually see them. Where do they go? My dearest, worship me, and I'll make oh, no, they're, so they're going out. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, we have a weird force walker thing going on here. I think the water fountain guys come out, patrol on the inside, and then do this loop, so they never end up going left. 
It's a bad spot for a fountain. We'll put it up there instead. So... We can put that like that. You see how useful it is to understand the forced walker thing? Even if you're not going to utilize it, because when you, as soon as you start doing interesting city designs, uh, it will start throwing you, and it will be like really difficult to figure out what the hell is going on. Another monument in that corner will fix that. All right. Wow. All right, I think we're now sorted, because there's massive fleet exports going on. This trading post. Oh my god, the Kraken came right up to this. Look at that. Oh my god. Do you think he just picks a random building every X time? So they uh, they need more fleece, and it's taking them forever to get it. Oh my god, he's destroyed like... Oh my god, he's destroyed everything. Okay, let me rebuild these. Okay, they're rebuilt. Now, storehouse. And it's telling me we need more workers, I know, but come on. Right, so get some fleece up here, guys. Go on. Eight fleece at a time. They'll help out. We'll do the same thing. Hopefully they don't steal it. Well, yeah, steal it from another bay. I don't really mind. Right, the uh, Hermes Refuge is doing okay. I actually kind of hate where we've built Hermes Refuge because we don't even get to see the full image. Treasury has fallen below the goal. That's fine. The fact it was over the goal is, is good enough for me, I think, actually. So let's watch. Is the Kraken destroying along the coast here? Oh, you prick! Well, at least we caught it instantly and before it was doing anything. Peer to Syme. Okay, so then we need Athena's Arbor. I think we'll put her nice and central to the city. She deserves it since she... Um, she, uh, she just defended us from Apollo. Your city needs more workers. We need 200 workers. Well, I can up the wage rate because we've stopped being foolish with our money. We could actually up the taxes as well. High taxes, high wages. What, what benefit is that to us ultimately? I don't think very much. All right, move everybody in. A gift of wood, thank you. Uh, tribute of oil. We're getting pretty deep with the oil. We could do the final tier of evolution. Let's see how Hermes Sanctuary is doing. It needs two sculptures. It's 76% done, but the other thing it probably needs is marble. So we're out of marble, so we want to buy some marble. So let's buy marble there, as well as selling. There we My go. Dearest. Worship me, and I'll make your soldiers so two statues, bit of mur marble, Hermes Refuge is done, everything's going to move quicker now. He will actually uh, fulfill a uh, request for us as well, which is very good. He's heard our prayer, and oh, I guess we are supposed to wait for a request first. Hello, Hermes. Look at that. Excellent. Now, Athena. Let's get her in. And we will continue buying the marble, by the way. Um, in fact, we should do that just for the simple fact that we need it to make the thing. So we'll put a marble storehouse here, since she's roughly going to live around here. So let's say marble, get. And uh, yeah, I think dead center here, really. As for the word and the sculpture and stuff, I think that's okay. Oh my god, look at this town! Look at all the fleets! This is just insane! It's just armies of fleet, Cartman. Just My dearest, traveling around. Me, and I'll make your you buy fleece. Great strength. You buy fleece. You buy marble. You buy fleece. So that's three, which we have. All right, we're definitely trading with everyone that we can trade with in terms of fleece right now. It doesn't look like in this stage we're going to get anyone else. Unless it's coded for very late. Mount Pelion needs wine. Hermes can deal with that, I would hope. Where's our marble? Are you guys going to go get that? Oh, it's because you're saying to get marble now. Well, you can empty it, and you can empty yourself of that as well. Now, what was that crash? Is that the pier again? No, the pier's all right. They sell sculpture straight up. I'm just going to buy it straight up instead of cooking it. Tribute of olive oil. I'm just waiting for that olive oil message to say to us, oh, by the way, you're full. And when it does, I think we'll be ready to move on. Oh, what is this? I'm going to re keep rebuilding these, though. I'm going to keep it on top of it, because I do think it keeps the Kraken away. Do you know what I think would be a really good idea? Genuinely, I think it would be an excellent idea. I'm going to come to the very top right. Like, the most top right spot here possible. And I'm going to put one there. Is this a bit gamey? I think it's fun. Oh. 
I'm going to put one here. Because I wonder... Will the Kraken go for it? I think he will. And if he's going all the way out here, it's going to take him ages to get back. So that's nice. Nestled into those trees there. So thank you, Hermes. Keep going. Oh, he's just wandering around. On the open land, just waiting to be built upon. Right. Speed up again. There's the marble. How much are we waiting for to place this down? 24. Dearest, and the and town currently has... 18. 10. 14. Are we selling this stuff? No, there you go. 26. Okay, we're good. So, mythology. Arbor of Athena. And I think, like this, seems good. I don't really have any plans... For... Well... Oh, okay. Well, I, Olive Presses. Maybe one day... I don't know. All right, fine. We're going to do it about... We, yeah, we're going to do it here. The reason is because I don't imagine doing a housing block down here. Should we try to... Okay, no, i got an idea. Great things are in store for you, little sheep. <laughs> Trust me. Um, he's taking the sheep back for sacrifice to Hermes. He's got a long walk. Right, i got an idea. We're going to do a housing block around the sanctuary. Fully around the sanctuary. So, we are going to place it with as much space as possible. Like that. We need 24 marble. We have 24 marble. I know that we do. Look, look, look. Wait, 22 marble? I thought that said 26 a second ago. Wait, why are we losing marble? Is that when it goes into the delivery man's cart, the marble disappears for a second? It, it doesn't count as ours? I guess that makes sense. It needs to be stocked and inventoried. So the game's instinct is to put it at this orientation, but I'm going to put it at this orientation. Okay. So. We'll have the arbor like this. We will build it first, but I'm thinking houses. And I'm thinking we'll weave a couple of corners in. Out the front, we'll have some olive presses. And, and there'll be houses and things living among it. So the artisans can come down. Employees needed. What, what's our problem with employees now? 53 workers needed. That's okay, though. Money is down. Employment's good, it says. We actually have a little bit of unemployment. Jugs of olive oil. How are those not filled yet? Like, this guy not getting the culture. Oh, maybe he needs wine. I, I, don't, I don't even care, honestly. As long as these guys all up here evolve stably it's gonna be awesome what do you want food you don't have food because the agora guy never made it to you does the agora guy not make it sometimes because he goes like to visit the culture district see ideally i could roadblock there but it won't work i think our underlying there you go so he's given them food there i think our underlying design doesn't quite work so this is a good example of an unstable block. Okay, well, 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 why is our money dropping? Is the pier gone? No. Oh, oh our money's dropping because of the, the sculpture buying. Okay, yeah, get rid of that. Oh, my Lord, and get it off. Get it off the bay. Uh, over here. Sculpture. Get the sculpture. Stop buying. We can't even sell the fleece now. Oh, and these guys, you did your job very well. Perfect. So accept, accept, okay. That made it needs wine. These need rebuilding. All right, I'm watching this very close. Actually, do you know what? I think it's time to save. I think it's time to save because, uh, wow, my space bar was not working there. Uh. If he destroys all these sculptures, what I'll do is I'll put a little bay, and then we'll shift them off. But that represents thousands of drachma. Yeah, we went into debt anniversary. Popularity is Wayne. Pestering Apollo's Popular, back. You have angered me. Oh! Apollo staves off Hermes. Sorry, that was moving too quick for us to see there. But yeah, he's scared off Hermes. Oh my god. Look, he's bringing plague with him. Am I seeing things? <laughs> That's really good. Look, 
The dialogue of a plague citizen near a monster. That one seems like it's quite rare, but probably not actually, because every time Apollo comes to town, he's going to plague people. <laughs> I didn't even try with that one. Let's see what this guy thrown out of my home. Ready? What does he say when he sees a monster? No more succor for the mind. Or yeah, not the you, body Apollo. Be offered to the natives of this land. Here we go. I don't have any weird to hide. Help! Oh, this guy! It's the saddest voice ever. Go on, just don't kill my sculpture guy, please. I don't feel so You've just good. destroyed some comets from houses. That's unbelievable. Do you know how people live in those houses? Do you know how much effort I put into these houses? I know it doesn't look like I put much effort in, but actually, a lot of effort got, went into this. Oh, he's cursed the infirmary. Healers will not provide cures until the curse is lifted. Alright, keep getting that sculpture off. We're now full, we're blocked up, we're, ba we're blocked up with fleece. Everything is obscenely full of fleece. <laughs> There's just everything every single little area so we're now no longer doing anything with fleece but do you know what i think that that's okay oh my god we're building this quick jesus it's nearly done that means it's basically the end of the episode oh my god you know i honestly rewind the clock like 10 minutes and i was thinking quietly to myself i have wasted this episode with nonsense i spent way long before i started building or doing anything and it's going to take two hours because there's a whole episode of nothing in there. Especially when I thought I was about to get, get game over. But actually, with this done, we just... We're done. The treasury goal's easy. We'll kill the Kraken and then the, the we're off to the next colony. Ugh, Tyrions did not do that well here, I have to say. Our big, beautiful, amazing diamond has not been as special as... Has not been as productive as I thought. Oh, there you go. Apollo staves off Hermes again. We missed it. Athena! Athena, visit my town! Oh, look at that guy! Oh, we could have got hunter dialogue. Or maybe that was a maintenance guy. Eureka! I found the best city and the most capable ruler. Oh, we gotta to speak to someone else. Whoever he gets close to. Here, like this Agora worker. No more succor for the Oh no! Oh no! Oh, let's hear about Milo! Milo, when he's near a, a demon. Milo? Whoa, this city is like going to get totally shredded, dude. Totally, dude! Oh my god! There's a ball around here somewhere. I can see. <laughs> no, never mind the ball. What about this? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I was hearing the whistle and I was like, what is this? <laughs> but he screams. That's great. <laughs> oh, I love that. Wow, some of the animations. That's so weird. While we're playing audio from this, the animations for the buildings go. Ready? Watch this. Wait for it. Oh, it didn't work that time. I don't know. How did I trigger that? That's so weird. Well, there you go. Um, what about you? Just once, I'd like the Agora to bring goods to me. Just once, well, I'd like the Agora to bring goods to me. Yeah, all right. Well, what about Apollo? Oh my god, and the Kraken. Do you have any comments? Wait. Oh yeah. That was... That was the old, uh... What are you doing over here? Oh, because culture? You don't like the culture, do you? Yeah, he's cursing all of our culture buildings. I wonder if there's like another way you can play this game. Where you know what god's going to attack, and you design the city such that... They get to the buildings they're going to try to destroy really fast or something. Do you know what I mean by that? Anyway, uh, they want wood sculpture. What are they waiting for? Wood, possibly. Well, there's some wood there. But they don't have a road connection to it. So let's give them one. That will allow people to shift stuff. It looks like they're actually still going for statues. I see. So they're planting the statues around the outside here. <laughs> Now they'll be the big ones. It's going to be lots of marble here. We are importing marble, correct? Yes? Yeah, from Mount Pelion. Excellent. And as soon as this is built, we can stop importing it and we can get our treasury going. Apollo staves off Hermes up there as well, again. Chaos in the city. Apollo and the Kraken together. Why do I feel like last time we had a Kraken issue, there was a god rampaging around as well? Sorry, I know everybody thinks less of me. I know, don't stop trading or anything, though. 
Oh, well, mind you, you can stop trading. I don't really mind you. But the other guys, if you ever get mad, I will I will give you fleece. In fact, I'll give you fleece before you get mad. We can be proactive about this if we like. There you go. So some of that wood's getting used, I think. Oh, we've connected this base. <laughs> Look at all these people. Oh, what a terribly designed city. Look at all these people. Oh, finally, there's a storage bay. I can put my fleece there. And then they all move. We created that one little road and <laughs> everybody goes flying. Okay. Uh, two sculptures. Well, they're on site. All right, let's speed through this. There's one bit of marble. Thank you, Hermes, for starting to deal with our stuff. I think it's word. That, no, I don't know, actually. Maybe it's just taking ages to get the marble through the town. Let's do this, then. Let's put another storage bay. It's interesting how you use storage bays in this game. You know, it's like... It's like you build whole buildings just to manipulate the movement of goods. It's something very weird about that. So one statue, two statue, and the Arbor of Athena is done. You've drawn the great Athena, goddess of warriors, crafts, and wisdom. So, we can pray to her. Um, she will endow our soldiers with more strength, and she will defend our city from attack. Please do that. I don't have room for olive oil and olives. She might fulfill me later. No, 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 I didn't want that. I wanted you to fit, fight Apollo. Will you do that? But speaking of olives and olive oil... Oh, Matt Malia becomes resentful. You cannot countenance my recent actions. I have gods rampaging around here. What do you want from me? So I will, uh, now that we have this, we can say olive press. One, two, three, four. Grower's Lodge. One, two. Maintenance Post. One. I believe we've just this set up. We've got the two-to-one ratio going on. They're all in front of us so they can be enchanted. So that's all good. Now, the rest of all this space, we will figure out a housing district. I just want to note that I, in editing, having seen the future, can tell you guys, yeah, this setup produces obscene amounts of olive oil. Crazy amounts. But with all of that said, Perseus is now happy, just as long as we have a little bit of money, which we can get just by speeding the game along here. Oh my god, we weren't even selling that fleece. Oh my god. Spent all this time looking at this and we weren't even selling it. There you go, our city is now worthy of Perseus' presence. However, what I would quite like to do here is speed forwards a little bit before we send them off. Because as soon as we say that Kraken, the mission's over. So we can coast here now until we get a bit of money um, before we move on. And weirdly enough, uh, this seems cheesy, doesn't it? But again, Impressions Games' own guide for this mission says to do this. There you go. We've lost trade with Mount Malia, but that's fine. What were they trading with us anyway? There is currently not enough food. There's just enough food. Okay, but it's because he's destroying these. Is it still just... Well, and we got meat as well. You guys aren't happy with the meat? He's destroying. Our strategy of loading off a bunch of urchin quays here and keeping the pier up there actually is working. Do you know what? We could put even more along up here. Oh, but hold on. Employment. 300 workers needed. Yeah, we, we clearly got some kind of issue back here. Oh, wow. Oh, it's food. It's a foodish. Wait, 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 wait. And the granary is empty. Maybe that's just Fallout from Apollo, messing with Apollo just a second ago. And with Athena uh, here now to protect us, Apollo isn't an issue. And with Perseus as well. Oh, a gift of bronze from Mount Malia. Oh, so these are the guys that were mad at us and stopped trading a second ago. Here's what I like to think, guys. I like to think, first of all, I think that probably the devs coded this in just in case you were struggling and got like locked into the mission maybe or something. But I like to believe that what happened is politically over there, their leader of their city got ousted and a new sympathetic guy to our, our cause has come in. And that's helped us out. Oh, trade from learner forfeited. Oh, because we don't have the olive oil. All right, so next time... So everybody's moving in. We have 10,000 drachma. I was going to wait until 20k. Oh, here's Apollo. Where are you, Apollo? Look, let's watch Athena kill him. Come on, Athena, defend me. Oh, she's going. Look, 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 look. 
The buildings that I bless will produce an abundance of goods. No! Turn around, Athena! No! Why? Come back! Oh, 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 oh! There! Yeah! God battle! And he's ran off. So, excellent. So, we do have to deal with plague and curse. But we're okay. Matt Mayler needs a bit of wine. Hermes deals with it. We get a gift of 20 marble from Mount Pelion. By the way, which we can stop buying now. Where was the marble purchases? It was, it was from up here, wasn't it? So, no more purchases of marble. It's all just fleece exports. Hardcore fleece exportation. People moving back in. Trade resumed. Oh my god, how many years are we going to go through? This has actually already been 28 year long campaign. Because every episode of this campaign... I have actually... I've fast forwarded, like, really heavily. Every single episode. Alright, screw it. 10k is enough. 10k is enough for the next colony. Oh look, it's going up. Fire. Oh my god, these rare fires. It's okay, I'm no longer scared. If this game's taught me anything, it's not to be scared of fire anymore. All right, here we go. Perseus, go kill the Kraken, please. Mount Pelion needs more wine. I'm Perseus, and I cannot be stopped. So, uh, what do we want to focus on here? I was going to stay at the hall. It's probably better to keep our eye on the Kraken and see Perseus sail out on his raft. Like, way out into the middle of the sea this time. Look at this. Imagine if we'd managed to get stuff on those islands. I mean, is there a limit to the length of one of these roads? Like, if I just put... If I go administration and I just put a water... Oh, there is a limit. There you go. Here he is. Wow. Did you draw that here all by yourself? I did. Oh. So there we have it. The Kraken is destroyed. Roughly where we first saw it. And the mission's complete. Very easy. Really easy, smooth, chill one. Look, look, look. Even Athena Thanks coming down to help out. The Kraken has been slain, and Tyrans is once again safe. Now that the city is peaceful again, it is time to set forth and found a new colony. It is indeed. So I will see you guys next time for our decision between Lemnos or Euphesus. I already mentioned what one. Jaws. Imagine doing that mission with Amazons attacking you the whole time as well. Oh, wow. Uh, I've already mentioned our decision of which one we're going to do. It's a colony that um, I'm really excited to do because we've seen it in other campaigns. We're going to look at the founding of Lemnos. See you guys for that next time. Oh, here it says, Rocky Lemnos looks like this world turned inside out. Silver and marble, which usually resides deep inside the earth, have been risen to the surface. This is nice. A colony that will sell us marble and give us payments of drachma. That's really good. Okay, the time has come for probably the most insane dialogue. This is, if, if I was going to rank, if I was going to tier list it all, there is something completely nuts here. Well, today we're going to be doing the trader. Uh, in fact, I'll do both traders. We'll do a double whammy. We're going to do regular traders, and then we're also going to do seafaring traders. And there's two really amazing things to talk about here. First, they're complete arseholes to you and they break the fourth wall. They talk about right-clicking and they're really mean to you. I guess the idea is that if you have a bad city, the traders that come to the city, they're, you know, everyone else has been a bit of a sycophant. They're, they're sucking up to you a bit. But these guys tell you what's what. So they're really mean. And on top of that, the other really interesting thing that's going on with this is that they seem to act as mini oracles, as in they'll give you hints about what's coming up in the mission later. If you're going to get invaded, if a god's going to come or something, just give it a listen. And I think, uh, you know, you, you can pray to Apollo or Zeus for this effect, but uh, they kind of give you it to, to you if you're just smart enough to speak to them. I think maybe at one point through the Let's Play, I actually heard some of this dialogue, but it's only actually when, it go when going through and looking at the data, I realised there's loads of it. And it must be a, a hidden little mechanic. Mechanic. The idea is these guys are out around the world. They know a bit more about what's going on. And if you speak to them a lot, you'll actually get a gameplay advantage from it. The only place in the game where that's true. So yeah, the traders are insane. Big preamble for them. Enjoy. Right click me. I'll right click you. You and your city stink and I only trade with you because my leader demands me to. Coming here is like coming home. You and this city are so well loved. I heard some rumblings just outside your city. Either I ate some bad moussaka, or there is a none-too-happy god. Just between you and me, I think there's a monster headed your way. You'd better get ready for company. 
An enemy army is on its way here. It was a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> I hope Aeolus guides us home. I am not the only visitor here. Oh, no. Are you talking to me? You and your city are scum, and everyone in Greece hates you. Maybe if I come here often enough, you'll offer me citizenship in your fine city. I am getting out of here post-haste. I don't want to be here when the monster arrives. You should be careful. An opposing god is on the way. Word is that your city is about to be attacked. 